Palazzo Barberini is a palace in Rome, facing the Piazza Barberini in Ryan Trevi. It houses the Galleria Nazionale d'Arte Antica. History The sloping site had formerly been occupied by a garden vineyard of the Sforza family, in which a palazzetto had been built in 1549. The sloping site passed from one cardinal to another during the 16th century, with no project fully getting off the ground. When Cardinal Alessandro Sforza met financial hardships, the still semi-urban site was purchased in 1625 by Maffeo Barberini, of the Barberini family, who became Pope Urban VIII. Three great architects worked to create the palazzo, each contributing his own style and character to the building. Carlo Maidano, then at work extending the nave of St. Peter's, was commissioned to enclose the Villa Sforza within a vast Renaissance block along the lines of Palazzo Farnese. However, the design quickly evolved into a precedent-setting combination of an urban seat of princely power combined with a garden front that had the nature of a suburban villa with a semi-enclosed garden. Maidano began in 1627, assisted by his nephew Francesco Borromini. When Maidano died in 1629, Borromini was passed over and the commission was awarded to Benini, a young prodigy then better known as a sculptor. Borromini stayed on regardless and the two architects worked together, albeit briefly, on this project and at the Palazzo Spada. Works were completed by Benini in 1633. After the wars of Castro and the death of Urban VIII, the palace was confiscated by Pamphili Pope Innocent X and was only returned to the Barberini in 1653. Architecture. The palazzo is disposed around a forecourt centered on Bernini's grand two-story hall backed by an oval salone, with an extended wing dominating the piazza, which lies on a lower level. At the rear, a long wing protected the garden from the piazza below, above which it rose from a rusticated basement that was slightly battered like a military bastion. The main block presents three tiers of great arch-headed windows, like glazed arcades a formula that was more Venetian than Roman. On the uppermost floor, Borromini's windows are set in a false perspective that suggests extra depth, a feature that has been copied into the 20th century. Flanking the hall, two sets of stairs lead to the Piano Nobar, a large squared staircase by Benini to the left and a smaller oval staircase by Borromini to the right. As well as Borromini's false perspective window reveals, other influential aspects of Palazzo Barberini that were repeated throughout Europe include the unit of a central two-story hall backed by an oval salon and the symmetrical wings that extended forward from the main block to create a coward honneur. The salon ceiling is graced by Pietro da Cortina's masterpiece, the Baroque fresco of the Allegory of Divine Providence and Barberini Power. This vast panegyric allegory became highly influential in guiding decoration for palatial and church ceilings. Its influence can be seen in other panoramic scenes such as the frescoed ceilings at Sant'Ignazio. Or those at Villa Pisani at Stra, the throne room of the Royal Palace of Madrid, and the Carra Zonico in Venice. Also in the palace is a masterpiece by Andrea Sacchi, a contemporary critic of the court in a style, Divine Wisdom. The rooms of the Piano Nobile have frescoed ceilings by other 17th century artists like Giuseppe Parsieri and Andrea Camusso, plus, in the museum collection, precious detached frescoes by Polidoro da Caravaggio and his lover Maturino da Firenze. The garden is known as a Giardino Segreto, for its concealment from an outsider's view. It houses a monument to Bertel Thorlson. Who had a studio in the nearby Tetro del Quattro Fontaine in 1822-1834. Modern History and Attractions Today, Palazzo Barberini houses the Galleria Nazionale d'Arte Antica, one of the most important painting collections in Italy. It includes Raphael's portrait La Fornoina, Caravaggio's Judith beheading Holofernes and a Hans Holbein portrait of Henry VIII. The palace also houses the Italian Institute of Numismatics. The European Convention on Human Rights, which created the European Court of Human Rights, was signed here on November 4, 1950, a milestone in the protection of human rights. Hidden in the cellars of the rear part of the building, a mithraeum was recently found, dating probably from the 2nd century AD. References Blunt, Antony, The Palazzo Barberini 
Journal of the Warburg and Courtauld Institutes 21. External links, Il Palazzo Barberini, official site, Romart Lover, Palazzo Barberini, Palazzo Barberini and Veneta Rome Guide, Italian Army Ends Museum Standoff, BBC News, Friday 13 October 2006, Google Maps. The complex constituting the Palazzo Barberini is in the centre, set back from the road on all sides, and askew. On the lower side of the image are the start of the Quirinal Palace Gardens. Below, and in the first corner on the right, is the San Carlo Alle Quattro Fontaine. Diagonally opposite and above is the triangular Piazza Barberini with the Triton Fountain. The National Gallery of Ancient Art at Barberini Palace.